Hello everyone, I hope you're all well and thanks very much for all the support with my videos. Today I'm in Kimmage, my hometown, a village about three miles south of Dublin city, GPO, and there we have Ratmines Township, which was founded in 1847, a rock which, stone which commemorates that as well, and below it we have a wreath to Joseph Plunkett and a plaque above the wall as we can just see it as well. We'll plan in. Joseph Plunkett, poet and patriot, signatory of the proclamation, lived here from 1911 to 1916. And Joseph Plunkett was one of the key architects of the East Horizon. On this day in 1916, at 12.45, Patrick Pearce read the proclamation outside the GPO and one of the key architects, as I said, was Joseph Plunkett, who was born uh, in Mount Street, lived for a time then in Fitzwilliam Street Upper. His father was a papal count, very privileged upbringing, and they had a house here up in Kimmage, called Larkfield House. And this would have been the countryside at that point, and then it was a Subsequent to that, it was a paint factory and then it became Super Quinn and now it's Super Value Shopping Centre, synonymous place in the local area. And Kimmage has its originations in the word of the Crooked Glen through, due to the river puddle that flows through here, which was the main water supply for Dublin. And during medieval time, times, a stone boat was created that diverted and created a culvert for a lot of the water supply to head towards medieval Dublin to provide a water supply and to provide so much energy for all of the mills and which is a tributary of the River Liffey, Dublin's most prominent river. But interesting here at Larkfield House because people would know Joseph Plunkett obviously being a signatory to the proclamation but also too being a man who was executed on May the 4th by the British colonial forces in Clemenham Jail and he married Grace Gifford from a Protestant family in Ratmines who herself was a prominent artist, cartoonist, died in St Richmond Street in 1955 but just a few hours before he was executed, he married Grace Gifford. And coincidentally, one of his best friends was Thomas Macdonough, another signature of proclamation, who was married to Muriel Gifford, Grace's sister. And tragically, she died a year after the Easter Rise in 1917 in a drowning accident in Skerries in North County, Dublin. But Thomas Macdonough and Joseph Plunko would have been synonymous and great friends through UCD, very involved in the Gaelic League. And Joseph Plunkett would have had a huge faith. And as well, he would have also been synonymous with the, his poetry work that is very famous to this day as well. But obviously the story around Grace is very important because people would know that song internationally. Grace made famous by many, many great Irish singers. One of my favourites is Jim McCann, written by two brothers from Mullingar, the O'Mara brothers from Mullingar back in the 1980s. Beautiful son, and spoke of their wedding just a few hours before the execution of Joseph Plunkett. Now this place here in Larkfield House was very instrumental in the East Horizon because this was known as the Kimmage Garrison, and this would have been home to over 100 men and members of the Kimmage garrison that fought in 1916. A lot would have came from Liverpool, Salford, Glasgow, first and second generation Irishmen who come back to work on munitions, billy cam bombs in this area as well, and uh, Michael Collins as well was here during that period of time as well, who was aide de camp to Joseph Plunkett. Now a couple of days before the rising, Joseph Plunkett had an operation. He suffered from ill health most of his wife, life with tuberculosis, but he had an operation on his neck glands and was particularly ill during that period of time. And he still went into the GPO 
and supported the his fellow revolutionaries fighting for Irish independence. And it's also interesting that Michael Collins, as I said, was his aide de and they would have had a huge significance in history here. So it's something very memorable in our local community that I've always been very proud of and very aware of from a young age. Beautiful history in our local area. And also we'll just show you a couple of more things while we're here. Behind me, people might not remember that old building that was there. There was the Apollo Cinema Picture House was there for many years. In later years, I remember it being the Bingo Hall. I think it was opened in 1935 as a cinema, closed in 1980, became a bingo hall from 1980 up to the start of the new millennium, back in, well, 99, 2000 period. And it's now a number of shops and actually empty building as well above it. But also around that period in Dublin, cinemas were prolific in around Dublin city, in around many of our villages and suburbs of Dublin. Nearly every village would have a cinema. There was one quite close to called the classic, the Kenilworth, which was down in Harold's Cross, and then we had the Apollo here that many would remember. If you remember that, share your memories. I'd be glad to hear them. And, uh, or even bingo, if you were involved with that as well. It's a huge part of our local history. That's why we just walk on a little bit more. And just over the back wall there, you can't quite see it there, is where the stone boat and the puddle would lead to. As we just walk up Sundrive Road, which was famous as a country lane called the Dark Lanes back in the 30s. And work on this road was constructed in the 1930s. Around the same period, all of the housing scheme would have sprung up around Crumlin, Kimmage and Crumlin, just further up here. As we just go across to a famous pub here called the Stone Boat. One of my favourites. Great pub here in Kimmage. Great history. Christy Brown, famous for the internationally the movie My Left Foot, who lived close, close by, drank in that pub. Many more drank in that pub as well. And the Stone Boat is named in commemoration of the Stone Boat, as I mentioned, which was the culvert in the River Puddle. So great history here in Kimmage. And on this day, Easter Monday, I want to just bring you for a little walk around a village that's close to my heart in my local community that I've always been very proud of and loved its history and its relevance in terms of the struggle for Irish independence. And we need it now more than ever in the context of what's going on. So I hope you enjoyed the walk through Kimmage and finish with a shot of the stone boat from behind. And from Dublin and from Kimmage, take care and thanks for supporting my work, supporting my videos and please share them as well. And if you like them, please press subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook page as well. So from Kimmage, Easter Monday, hope you all have a nice Easter and take care. Bye bye. Salam.